hey guys, well this isn't something you get to do every day. Today we're at the go-kart track riding KTM's 2021 450 SMR. That's right, KTM is going to be importing its competition specification super motorbike into North America. And we're gonna ride it today in this special edition MC commute. Well guys, here we are on KTM's 2021 450 SMR. This is the return of K KTM's competition spec super motorbike. KTM's been making these, well they were making them for a long time in America and in 2013, I'm sorry 2014, they went away. So after a seven year hiatus, KTM is back importing its competition spec 450 SMR to America for all you super moto riding enthusiasts. We are here at the local go-kart track in Southern California on KTM's 450 SMR and this is a fun bike. KTM noticed that it's sister company that Husqvarna was experiencing great success with its super motorbike, the FS450, which we test rode many years ago. And they wanted in on the action, so they decided to re-engineer and import this 450 SMR. Now the underpinnings of this motorcycle in typical KTM fashion, the underpinnings are exactly identical as the 450 SXF motocross bike. Every year KTM makes a host of changes to the frame, the suspension, the swing arm, everything. And they apply those changes across all models. That's the KTM and Husqvarna ideology. So when you buy a new KTM dirt bike, you always get the latest and greatest technology. That's what separates their bikes from other manufacturers. This thing's powered by a 450cc single cylinder, four valve cylinder head. This engine puts out right around 60 some horsepower, says KTM. Five speed transmission, chain final drive, and a suitor slipper clutch that makes it easy to do those nice slides. You don't need to use the clutch lever, you just downshift and let the machine do the heavy lifting for you. Now the cool thing about this KTM Supermoto bike is how it comes from the factory with all the goodies. The air fork and the linkage equipped shock is dialed right from the factory. So the suspension works really good in a supermoto environment. Basically, it has a little bit less travel than a motorbike and the spring and damping characteristic are much slower. So the movement of this bike is more controlled because you don't have any big hits or terrain that, like big jumps or terrain where you need to have fast, soft -er suspension. So the suspension's firmer and slower. And for the pavement, God, it works so good. You can ride this bike so hard, it has so much grip just out of the box. Sorry guys, I can't talk when I'm doing the jumps because I gotta focus. And the bike has so much mechanical grip, it's crazy. This SMR comes outfitted with Bridgestone Supermoto specific racing slicks in 
16 5 inch front 17 inch rear diameter now KTM decided to go with the 16 5 front because it boosts maneuverability it also in theory gives access to special specification tires but to be fair it's not like the old Superbike days where everyone's running 16 5 front wheels everything's 17 now so it's almost a moot point but you can't deny the extra agility that the 16 5 front hoop gives you the wheels are of course tubeless which reduces reciprocating mass you don't need tubes and makes the bike accelerate a little bit quicker more quickly of course the suspension components have adjustment we are riding on KTM's XACT air fork so instead of a coil spring the fork uses air to provide spring support that means it's really easy to modify the preload setting based on your weight or your front braking demand the front brake on this motorcycle is also very high end it's almost like a street bike front brake Brembo radio mount four piston monoblock caliper operates through a radial Brembo master cylinder which you see here and the braking power on this bike is just tremendous this bike weighs right around 230 pounds and it's crazy how efficient it is at slowing down the cool thing about this brake setup too is it's fade resistance resistant you can really lean on that front brake lever and the brake feel is consistent whether it's lap one or lap two 200 this 450 smr has adjustable power modes mode one and mode two we're riding in mode two right now which is supposed to give a little bit sharper throttle response we have traction control disabled because the traction control system on this bike is very rudimentary it's an ignition timing based TC system something that the street bikes some street bikes were using 12 years ago so I prefer the full manual effect so that is why I have it off But it's still nice that KTM offers that feature. Now you're probably wondering, now why wouldn't I just buy an FS450 Husqvarna? Well, there's a couple key differences. Obviously, the, the airbox is different on this bike, as is the body panels. That's how KTM separates its Husqvarna and KTM brands, it's by the bodywork and the airbox there's some other things like the swing arm is different of course the controls are also different the Husqvarna gets more premium pro taper controls and Magura brake or Magura levers this is all Brembo this bike retails for $11,000 $300 and you could for sure buy a different brand dirt bike buy the wheels modify the suspension buy a slipper clutch buy a big brake but realistically it's going to cost you well over the $11,300 asking price for this bike and that is why I would gravitate toward this thing you just put gas in it and you go so easy and then you're off to the races riding supermoto 
and having fun. Would I spend my $11,200 on this bike? You betcha. I'm the kind of guy where I like to put gas in the bike. Heck, I don't even want to check tire pressures. So if a bike is as easy as checking the tire pressure and putting gas in it, and then you can ride the wheels off of it, no fuss, no muss, to me, that extra price is worth it. So I would and not hesitate spending that kind of money on this bike. It is that fun to ride. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this special edition MC Commute on KTM's closed course competition spec 450 SMR. Make sure you log on to Motorcyclist Online where my written review will be, where additional photos and vehicle specifications live. And we'll see you guys next time. I gotta put in some motos. And to do that, I can't be talking to you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for riding with me.